Good morning everybody, or good afternoon, or good evening, whenever you watch it. Um, I'm happy to bring Sunday School today. Um, I've been in a real tizzy all week. I couldn't get on YouTube, I couldn't get YouTube uh, videos to work. I've done everything that they tell me to do, and I can get one to work. And then that's it, none of them work. So, I haven't left you, I still love you, but you've just got to come over to my video for a short while if you want to listen to me. We'll try and get it up, but we'll see what we do. Now, how Sunday School first started was with me listening to the bells. The bells were playing one Sunday morning and I was doing just a bloggio and in the back we could hear the bells and I don't know somehow that got shaped into doing a little bit of scripture along the way and a prayer. Um, well this time there is 31 or 30 scriptures, depending how you read it. And no, I'm not going to read them all. I have got my Bible nearby. If I so felt, I will get it. If I so felt led to pick on one. But what I've got is this. I think you can see it. It's in the shape of a bell. And since I've been in the back room, I haven't been able to hear the bells. But this morning, for some reason, the bells were going off. You know, it was as if he was caught God. I mean, it was calling everybody to church. And even in the back room, and I even had the TV on, which I don't normally have on. Uh, and the birds were going like I don't know what outside and yet I still heard, heard the bells. So when it reminded me of this, I thought I would read it out. And it's called, as we now know, the bell, because it's in the shade path, a bell. But it's full of words. And it's entitled, I Know Who I Am. And I'm sure some of you will know this. I am God's child. Every time I say a sentence, there is a scripture at the end. I'm not going to read the scripture, but there is a scripture at the end. I am God's child. I am Christ's friend. I am united with the Lord. I am brought, no, I am bought with a price. I am a saint set apart for God. I am a personal witness of Christ. I am the salt and light of the earth. I am a member of the body of Christ. I am free forever from condemnation. Hallelujah. I am a citizen of heaven. I am significant. I am free from any charge against me. I am a minister of reconciliation for God. I have access to God through the Holy Spirit. I am seated with Christ in the heavenly realms. I cannot be separated from the love of God. I am established, anointed and sealed by God. I am assured all things work together for good. I have been chosen and appointed to bear fruit. I may approach God with freedom and confidence. 
I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Another hallelujah. I am the branch of the true vine, a channel, a channel of his life. I am God's temple. I am complete in Christ. Hallelujah. I am hidden with Christ in God. Hallelujah. I have been justified. I am God's co-worker. I am God's workmanship. I am confident that the good work God has begun in me will be perfected. I have been redeemed and forgiven. Hallelujah. I have been adopted as God's child. I belong to God. Do you know who you are? Now, when I say hallelujah at the end, for a start off, I have no choice. <laughs> my hallelujahs tend to come out a lot, as my friends will tell you. Um, it isn't saying that that is any better than any of the others. It's just saying that for me, this morning, at this precise moment, that means a lot to me. There are so many which do. And every one of you who, who knows scripture will know which scriptures they are. But I'm not going to be so cruel as not to tell you what they are. But what I'm going to do is if you want a copy please email me and I'll give you a copy because what's the best thing in the world to do is to take just one and let's start at the God top I am God's child and that is John 1 verse 12 now any of you which know the first apostle, uh, the first chapter in John. Well, no, it's a humdinger to start with. It's one of those ones that nobody really understands. So out of interest, we'll just see what it's like in the message. One, verse 12. Now, the trouble is with these, they don't... Oh yes, there it is. It says it's got scripture numbers, but they don't really. Not each number, anyway. But whoever did want him, who believed he was who he claimed, and would do what he said, he made to be their true selves, their child of God selves. I won't read it in this because it goes on and I don't like it in the message sometimes. Saying that, I love the message. I do actually like the message very much. But if you're sort of teaching scripture or talking scripture, it isn't the best one to use. If you're at home and you just fancy a quick read and something to make you think, what does that say in the real Bible? <laughs> it is wonderful. It's a marvellous scripture for that. So, I am God's child. I am Christ's friend. Now that's in John, but that's in John's 15. And that's much easier to understand. John 15 and verse 15 You didn't choose me, remember. I chose you and put you in the world to bear fruit, 
fruit that won't spoil. As fruit bearers, whatever you ask the Father in relation to me, he gives you. But remember the root command, love one another. Oh, I've gone fat. Hang on, I've gone by too much. Um, ignore that bit. Well, don't ignore it, but that wasn't the one I should have told you. I should have said to the ones... You are my friends when you do the things I command you. I no longer call in you servants because servants don't understand what their master is thinking and planning. No, and this is scripture, I named you friends because I let you in on everything I heard from the Father. Now we know he's speaking to the apostles there. But we also know that the Bible has a personal reference for ourselves. So that scripture we can take for ourselves. Now, if I said I knew everything that Jesus has ever heard from the Father, you know I would be lying because I don't. And I'm not also a biblical scholar. All I know is what it means to me. And I think it's very difficult for you to say this scripture I've read and I know it means something for you because if it means something for somebody else well then God would tell somebody else um, you have to be very careful what you say then um, but you can always share what it means to you and then somebody else might read it and think oh it means that to me hallelujah it means that to you that's all I'm going to read from there. I wasn't even going to read that. But what I want you to know is every single line has a scripture at the end. And what you can do is one day, say, in your private time, your quiet time, say, right, for the next ten minutes, and is it too much to give God ten minutes? Look at one of them and look at the scripture and see what it means to you. You know, we don't give God enough time. Seriously, none of us do. We don't give enough time. Um, we should give him so much more time. He gives us so much more time, you know. And we should give him some. Anyway, prayer time. Now, this morning there's quite a few people in which uh, the prayers are very solid and very much needed. Um, but this morning, I want it to be a personal one, if you don't mind. I don't know if I asked you to pray for Kez last week, but I'd like you to pray for Kerry this week. She's suffering from some sort of uh, in indigestion upset. Um, and she has been feeling sick and um, also the other, you know what I'm talking about um, and she really is not well she really isn't she can cope with pain she's like me she's used to a lot of pain so but um, and she's seen me with a lot of pain and she's seen that I haven't died I just keep on having a lot of pain. Um, but she really feels unwell. So if you could lift her before the Father, I really would appreciate it. I know you love her. I know you love her. So please lift her before the Father. Let's pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you in humility. But also, we come to you in the knowledge as what Jesus said. Where two or three are gathered together, you are also among us. And you will also give us what we ask. Oh Lord. That sounds so presumptuous to even attempt to say it. But as your word says it, 
we can have the ability to come and to ask. And Lord, I lift before you everybody who is in this book. All the people who have written, all the people who have subscribed, people who have been nasty, everybody, Lord, who has had any contact with us. And we ask that you touch them in some way. Some will be feeling sickly. Some will have worries about a job prospect. Some will have babies who they still worry over. Some will have marriage problems. And some, like hairs, will be suffering from some sort of physical sickness. Oh, we ask you, Lord, to bring healing upon Kerry and to take away from her any fears that she might be feeling. The same for anybody, Lord, who is in this book who is scared, who is frightened. Lord, you did not give us a spirit of fear, but of love and power and a sound mind. Lord, the enemy brings fear. The enemy brings confusion. If any of you are confused about anything, that's not from God, that's from the enemy. So Lord, we lift everybody in this book. All our family members. All the families who are represented by the book. For all people awaiting email responses. Thank you, Lord. We love you, Jesus. We love you so much. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. You know, I was reading something today, not today, this week, and it said, when Jesus comes back, how many Christians will he recognise? You see, we walk about carrying his name, but do we walk about doing his will? I would pray that all of you would think about what you've done this week in any way, shape or form and think, is it Jesus? I once read a book called What Would Jesus Do? and I lent it to somebody but then when it got a bit too near the core for them they stopped reading it but you know, it's a brilliant book. If you write to me, I'll, in fact, I've got it on an MP3 somewhere. If you write to me, I'll share it with you. What would Jesus do? And what would Jesus do now? He'd say, shut up, Jessica, and let them get their dinner or their tea. Okay. So I'd like to say thank you for listening this morning. Please take care the following week. Please give me time to get back to all the email which has been mounting up. I will get back I will get back to it. I will. So thank you. Take care everybody. God bless. Bye.